Hello YouTube, this is DxLingJ here with another Minecraft video. And here it is. Well, kinda. Here is my ALU that I have been working on. And as you can see, I've been quite busy. Very busy. And uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective, this is not even half of it. Let's look over here yeah it's huge it's massive it's colossal if it were real it would be three football fields by three football fields and it's not even done <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you the major parts of it so you can get a feel for how my ALU is gonna work when it's finished and since it takes forever to get to each part I'm going to cut to it. So, here you go. Let's start with the part that you all know and love. Well, at least my 10 subscribers all know and love. Uh, the 8-bit adder. It has two inputs right here, and it has one output. It's probably the most complicated thing. Well, maybe. That might be a little bit more complicated, but we'll get to that in a second. Here is a 3x8 decoder and basically what this does is it decodes what you put on what you put into the input onto the output so if basically what it does is when whatever combination you have on the three inputs it will select the output so for example it knows that these three inputs are off and since they're off it selects that one and if I were to put one of these on, it would select a different one. This is a system that you can use to select what you want to enable your, basically, what you've calculated. So, in other words, let's say I do an operation on one of my many little parts in my ALU. <laughs> little. They're not so little. Like, let's say, I, let's say I do a calculation on my ALU, and I want to... And I want it to go onto the bus, the output bus, and come around here. Yes, I, I know this is very confusing, but so if I want it to go and if I want to enable what was put on here, I can select the correct order for it. I know I'm I probably don't make much sense right now, but I'll select zero zero zero, which will then en en enable excuse me, an enabler over there which puts it onto the output, if that makes any sense. One more time, it basically says, oh, there's, they're all off, okay, let's turn this one on. Oh, one of them's on, then let's turn that one on, in simpler terms. This l next little piece in my ALU is called a right shifter. This right shifter is composed of three parts two registers and a nice little trick of wiring basically what happens is you put you put your you put the input onto the, re the register and it goes in and what this does is it literally shifts the bits right because of how you can see that all of the wiring moves it right it literally takes whatever was in the what was ever was in the input and shifts it directly right and the neat little trick here is that because it do, does this, if you use the calculate, what's the word I'm looking for? If you use the table of binary numbers, it it effectively multiplies or divides whatever number you put in. This number would divide it, I think. I'm not so sure about that. One of them divides and one of them multiplies. That's a left shifter over there. It's the same part. It's exact same thing, except the wires shift left instead of right. Is that's kind of obvious. And with these, you can do multiplying and dividing, basically. Yeah. Here is a knotter. What this does, this right here. What this does is it takes whatever was put into the input and knots it. It so it inverts whatever was put on. And this has many uses, but I don't really want to get into that, so let's just move on to the next thing. This is an ander. 
this complicated thing. Is an ander, what it does is it takes two bit two inputs and ands them, puts them together and gives you an output. It's really all it does. And the reason why it looks so complicated is because I tried to put it together, I tried to compact it and make it really small and that wasn't a very good thing for me to do. But it's it's quite small, I guess. This also has many uses, which I can't think of right now. I'll edit it in. And yeah, let's go to the next thing. Here is an Aurer. Or -er, o R E R. What this does is it has two inputs, like the previous ones before it. Takes them and ors them together, gives you an output. And uh, I've just noticed now, but there's a lot of animals here. There's a lot. I don't know why I've just noticed this, but I think it's because um, I uh, this is all made out of dirt, and dirt spawns animals. I mean grass. Grass spawns animals. And the reason why I don't make it rock is because if I made it rock, cobblestone, smooth stone, whatever. The reason why I don't make it that is because let's say I have to go and fix something inside and I don't want to go back to my redstone editor I can just go in there and add a piece of dirt and do whatever I need to do makes it a lot easier and then we'll let's go over there with my fancy teleporting techniques here is an XOR XOR -er. I have a problem with the or -ers. they're hard to say it has two inputs like everything else and it XORs them and it tells you if they're equal or not and it, it also has a com a comparator on it oh sorry about that and basically a comparator does what its name says it compares the two numbers and tells you if they're bigger so it'll say hey A is you put it the two numbers on the input and it will tell you oh hey input A is larger or input B is larger. That's all it really does using a few simple logic gates. But the reason why it's so bit is big is because it has to add that on. And that long line of redstone is my attempt at um yeah, m attempt at making a bus that goes over one of my parts of the ALU. Not the best attempt in the world, but we'll get to that later. And teleport away. Here is zero, and zero. Yes, it's it is called literally zero. What this is is an eight input or gate with an not gate at the end. Basically, the, all this does is you, if nothing is on this eight bit, this <laughs> eight input or gate, then it will tell you, oh, the input is zero by signifying with that redstone over there but if one little thing is put onto this gate it will what it will do is this will this will turn on so the, the not gate will invert it so it'll say hey look it's off there, there's something on it it's not zero that's basically all it does and uh... yeah i just realized teleport away so lame of me Okay, so some of you, the uh, really smart ones who pay close attention, have noticed that each of my little pieces in my little ALU have been connected to something. And they're all connected to enablers, which I have shown in a previous video. And there's nine pieces in my ALU, and there's seven enablers because you don't need one for the zero, and you don't need one for the decoder and this is basically how it all works when and the reason why there's so much room is because when this is done supposedly there's going to be a big input bus over there and a big output bus over here so all you have to do is you, all you you just have to put one number onto the input bus you select what you want in the decoder the decoder enables one of these enablers and puts it onto the output bus and then that's the end of the calculation that's supposedly how it's supposed to work so thanks for watching
please comment, thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe. Bye.